What's up guys, this is Adit from Tech is Easy and today I'm going to show you how to use the Your Phone app on your Android phone and Windows laptop. So if you haven't heard about it, the Your Phone app is a Microsoft app which basically links your Android mobile with your laptop. And by using this app, you can control your mobile from your laptop. So you can make calls, you can see your photos, you can get notifications. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how it works. So let's get started. The first thing that you'll have to do is install the Your Phone app on your mobile and laptop. So in some laptops, it might already be there. So you can just search for your phone. And this is basically how the app looks. And then to get the app on your phone, again, just search for your phone on the Play Store. And then just install this app. So once you've installed the Your Phone app on your phone and laptop, then these are the pages which you'll see. So the first thing that you'll want to do is to link your phone with your PC. For that on your phone, just click on the blue box, which is link your phone and PC. After that, they'll ask you if the QR code is ready. So for this, just click on get started. And this is on the laptop. Then click on this box and click on pair with QR code. And then you just have to scan the QR code. So now as you can see, they've gotten paired and you just have to give some permissions on your phone. So I click on continue, just click on allow. This is basically to give access to your contacts, to your call logs and everything. Then click on continue, allow. And here as you can see, your phone and your laptop are linked. So once you've done all of this, you won't be needing your phone and you can just use your laptop. So now I'm going to show you how the Your Phone app looks on your laptop and I'll show you all of the controls which you have. So the first thing which you'll see on the top left is your mobile's name, the battery percentage, and then if it's connected or not. After that, you have four settings at the bottom. The first one is to enable Do Not Disturb. So if you click on that, then Do Not Disturb is enabled on your phone. And the same way you can just disable it. After that, you can control Bluetooth, then volume, and then your music all from here. Then below that, you have all of your notifications. So then you can just scroll down to see all of them. After that on top, you have four options. The first being messages, then photos, calls, and contacts. So in messages, you can go through all of your messages. After that, if you want to create a new one, just click on new message. Then you can just type in the number on top and send the message below. And basically everything that you could do on your phone, you can now do it just from here. Then the next section is photos. So over here, you can see all of your photos. Then you can enlarge a photo. And then from here, you can copy it to your laptop. You can save it. So you can see all of the options on top. Then the next section is calls. So for this, you'll require Bluetooth to be on on your phone and your laptop. Then just click on get started and click on enable. So over here on Bluetooth, you can see that my mobile has come and now it's connected. So I'll just go back to the Your Phone app. Then just click on send permission. And over here, you'll get all of your call logs, then your contacts. And on the right, you can see a keypad. So now if you want to make a call, you can just use your PC. And the good thing is that if you make a call, then it's completely from your PC. So you won't have to go to your phone to make the call. It'll just use your PC's mic and speakers. And this is one thing which I really like. After that, the next section is contacts. So over here, you can just go through all of your contacts and make changes if you want. So this is basically how the Your Phone app works. And if you're someone that's using a Samsung A or S series phone, then it'll look a bit different because you'll have more options. So if you want me to make a video on that, you can just let me know down in the comments. Goodbye.